Avi Yemeni, as we've explained, you may not know of him. He is a reporter for an outfit called Rebel News, which I think is based out of Canada, but has branches around the world. And Avi is a controversial and he's a social media um, person and, and presence in Australia and around the world. Um, he was refused entry to New Zealand by immigration staff, uh, I think a little over a week ago, as he was planning to come to New Zealand to attend and cover for Rebel News the rally, what turned out to be a Destiny Church rally at Parliament last Tuesday. Uh, ben, my producer, and I went down there and we had the Tamakis, the self-styled Bishop Tamaki and his wife, uh, in the studio for an interview the next day. It was a peaceful protest. It was not like uh, the occupation protest, some would say, that, that happened in February. There were counter-protests, but uh, to be honest, it was a bit of a damp squib if you were looking for a massive uh, news story. But the news story that did come out of it was that Avi Yemeni and a colleague of his were trying to get into the country. The colleague got in. He was rejected before he got on the plane in Aussie on the grounds of bad character. And Immigration New Zealand insisted at the time that that was an operational decision made by their staff in isolation on the information they had available to them. Published yesterday in the BFD, which is a new iteration of the Whale Oil blog site one run by Cameron Slater, was an email purporting to, purporting to be from Interpol in Wellington writing to Interpol in Canberra with these two men's names, including Avi's name, saying, we would like some dirt on them, we don't want them to come to New Zealand, we haven't got anything, could you provide some information? There have been questions raised about the veracity of that email and the email address. There has been no statement, though we are seeking one, from police or Interpol in Wellington as to whether or not that is a genuine email. And yesterday I attended the post-Cabinet press conference and asked Prime Minister Jacinda Ardern for comment on this issue. She said she could not verify the email. She was aware of Avi Yemeni's rejection at the border and she understood that was to do with issues of, of character and having a criminal record. Well, how do we cut through all this? How do we try and shed a li little more light? We talked to the guy at the centre of it all, uh, Avi Yemeni from Rebel News. He joins us on the line from Australia now. Avi, good morning uh, to you. Thank you for joining us. Good morning, mate. Thanks for having me. All right, Avi, I want to go through just some facts so I can build up a picture in my own mind. What happened when you went to travel to New Zealand for this rally at Parliament last, last week? Yeah, absolutely. Um, most bizarre situation. I rock up to check in as I do um, often when I go to travel around the world. Um, and I handed over my passport for the uh, Qantas staff to put me onto the flight. And um, suddenly she comes back and says, oh, sorry, I've never had this before. Um, your, your passport has been flagged. She said it's good on the, on the Australia side, it's the New Zealand side. Um, so she's gone over to her manager, they've got in contact with New Zealand Immigration, and uh, I stood there at the counter on the manager's phone speaking to New Zealand Immigration for about 40 minutes. Um, and they were all typical questions you'd expect from any sort of immigration interview until suddenly out of nowhere, um, she said the one line that I could tell from the way she said it, that, that, that it, it was what she wanted to say 40 minutes ago. She just had to tick all the boxes. Um, and she said, oh, I've read an article about you online and I determine that you're uh, of bad character and um, I'm going to exercise my right under 90... My powers under 97, I think it was, of the Immigration Act of 2009 and I'm going to refuse your entry today. And look, I'd become a little prepared. I, I, I'd already gotten advice earlier in the morning um, prior because there was... A, uh, the New Zealand Herald article, which, you know, from my experience... OK, uh, did... Uh, let, let's just get... I want to get the facts straight first. Yeah. So, so you were talking on the phone to an immigration official in New Zealand? Yes. OK. She invoked... What was it? Article 97. She said, I have read... I, an I believe, yeah. And she said, I have read an article online which makes me believe you are of bad character. Correct. She did not That's make reference to your convictions, to the domestic abuse convictions. Oh, uh, 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 she, she, she did from that article. She goes, I've read it. I go, what, 
the article, she, you know, she was talking about, because uh, I, I thought she was referring to the conspiracy theorists of sleep, because there was a lot in that article which was mm. focused around the okay, whole, okay. Um, our work. And then she said, oh, you have a conviction uh, for uh, for a violent offence. And that's when I questioned it. I said, well, I, I have had advice and I understand that uh, the threshold is 12 months in jail. That was a summary offence. Um, yeah. it's, it's the lowest bar of, of, okay. a, of a conviction. Okay, but going, she it, said it she was basing the character assessment of you as being a bad character. Off an article. Off an article. Did she refer specifically to whether or not this was the Herald article? No, no, she didn't. Um, Have so immigration it, subsequently confirmed that it was? No. Okay, so they, we don't they, know. They changed Let's it, just stick yep. to the facts, Harvey. We don't know what, what article she was referring to. Absolutely. Uh, that, that's true. Um, okay, any, all right. I, I did, uh, it is important to point out that any article that she is referring to um, would... The, the articles that talk about that conviction also say I was fine. So it would tell you if, you, if that was what the evidence... Yeah, 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 yeah but right, hang on. Let, let's me. just do it. Let's just do it step at a time. Yep. There is no doubt that you were told that the decision or the the basis of the decision on your character was made off an online article. I, I, I think this is an absolutely. important point. Okay, absolutely. Yes. Not based necessarily on any examination of your actual criminal conviction. Correct. Right, okay, so an article. Now, this is interesting because I think... You know, uh, all sorts of articles can be published online without being verified or bloody correct. I mean, disinformation and misinformation are anywhere. So that was good enough for immigration, though. That's, that seems slack to me. All right, can I ask you one other question? Because I was have been looking through our Immigration Act. Have you ever been denied entry or expelled from another country? So I have been. Um, uh, it's denied entry, but I think it's. I think you've got to be deported. No, think, no, no, no. It's de denied entry no. to another country. I looked at this, and I had a, a loyal friend look at it. Actually, Arvi, I hate to tell you, this was the United yeah. States refused to have you in. Right? Yeah, yeah. No, that no, that yeah, that, so that, that will. If they knew about that and they wanted to get rid of you on character, you'd you'd have to go for a, wa a character waiver, right? You'd have to apply for a character waiver if that's happened to you, which it has. That's, so that's the, fine. And, you know, and, if yeah. they, and, and, and if they and, and if they brought that up, that 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 would have been. Fine. Yeah. But that's not what they're using, and also that's 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 a technicality. I'm not banned from the US. There's no ban around the US. It was, but you've it been refused to entry to the around. United States. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, and and and, that's and on what grounds were you refused it, entry to the United States? Is that over oh, wrong wrong visa? That, uh, uh, filling okay. Out the, All right. All right. The wrong that was the, okay. So okay. It's, it's it's not it's not about character, and yeah. and I dare say to you that you know how many Aussies you know I, oh, yeah. I, I've got an inbox inundated with messages from going, dude, I have a violent criminal history, and I was just in New Zealand last week. Like my, yeah, my yeah. inbox yep. is in the, inundated with people saying that. So, well, yeah. the joke going the other way is every time you go to Aussie, they say criminal record, and I say it's still yeah. compulsory. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and also on 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 the point of uh, and I understand what you're trying to say uh, with regards to the United States, but the the, the reason um, for the United States would it, it would almost it, 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 I guess the reason why they didn't bring that up is because it's not off character grounds. So if you're going to say you're you're a bad character um, and you've been deported because of something you've done before. Yeah. Then, then that could explain a bad character. But if you're, if you, it, it kind of breaks the whole argument, and I, and I, th I, I, I dare say that's why they ran with the conviction because it's a lot more palatable for their friends in the mainstream. Yeah, media well, it doesn't, re it it doesn't meet headline. the criteria. You didn't serve a year for that conviction. You got fined three thousand six hundred dollars. I'm not going to sit there in judgment on, on, on what you did. You have been through through the criminal justice system in, in Australia and. On my reading of our regulations, um, that isn't an egregious breach or indeed any breach technically of the character requirements for entry to New Zealand. So, OK, we can clearly establish now that immigration said they denied you entry on the strength of an online article. We could make a presumption that was the Herald article, which didn't have a byline on it, which seemed to be a bit of a what can we find nasty to say about RV Yemeni. 
What has your oh. legal response? What has your legal response to that been? Are you taking action? Do you believe? And let's just leave the Interpol memo out of it for the moment. Do you believe you have been unfairly treated or targeted by Immigration New Zealand? Absolutely, uh, I'm, uh, no doubt about it. And everything we went through in the entire uh, through, through my entire experience, it, it, it points to that. And um, if anyone, or any of your listeners know me, will know that I'm not going to take it lying down because this is important. Um, it's important one for the fact that I don't think anyone should feel like New Zealand is a, a police state that, um, that 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 is dictated by a rogue government. And just because they don't like somebody's, um, you know, whether it's activism or journalism, whatever you want to call it, um, they, they they on those grounds you can't ban. Yeah. But your, at the moment, at, at, at the moment, Avi, we have no demonstrable no concrete proof that our government was involved in any way, our government in terms of, you know, uh, the beehive and ministers were in any way involved in what happened at immigration. That's true, but we'll get to the bottom of that. Uh, look, the, 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 the um, Interpol message says New Zealand police. Yeah. I would be interested... Hey, to hey hang on, hang on. Let, let's, deal, let's deal with this because I think this is important. How do we know that Interpol message is real? Uh, look, I've, uh, I've put it through uh, several of our sources. So we didn't run it straight away as well because I was, I need to make sure that uh, it was kosher. We ran it past our sources who do say it, it is indeed um, uh, uh, real and I... How would your solicitors online. know if it's real? No, not my solicitors. Um, law enforcement sources so that have looked at it and told us it is 100% uh, valid. Now, I think so your sources that say that the sources who provided the email, that it's a real email? Because there are questions being email. raised about the email address and its veracity. Yeah, yeah, that, uh, yeah, yeah so I've, I've seen those and it's, it's funny that I'm the wild conspiracy theorist but these people, you can, um, you can look up Interpol's own uh, documents online and, and, and that is their internal service. So you can't find that on who he is because it's not open to the public. You can't email those addresses. It is it, the internal um, uh, server that they use to communicate between Interpols around the world. It's a closed server. So you're well, then how do you know what it is if it's a closed server? No, no, you can see in documents on, on Interpol, there are on their website where there are uh, documents for inter other in for Interpol to communicate between each other, they use the same addresses. So they they say so e the email. So equally, the then, if it's online, it'd be easy to fake, right? Look, I'm I, I'm not denying that you could fake that. That's why we got it verified, and that's why I also emailed for comment. Okay, can you um, publicly point Wellington me to the person who will publicly verify it? Because that that's the reason I asked the the, the prime minister yesterday. No, no, we're, look, we've yeah. all, we're, we're We've also, we've, several people have put in freedom of information as well, so that in whatever amount of three, four weeks, um, we can have it directly yeah. from them. There's, there's no question about that. Um, look, it, it, listen, if it was fake, um, the, t the two requests for comment, one to Wellington, one to uh, Australia that I put in, yeah. um, that were open between each other now, it's almost 300 times. Yeah, I don't think anyone would frantically be opening those emails if it was fake. And they both gave me a no, essentially a no comment statement. Um, I think that they would just quickly go, and that's nothing to do yeah, with Yeah, and I must have, but we have no just, comment. we have just in real time while we've been talking, my production staff have con uh, contacted, was it Police National Headquarters, guys, that, that we reached out to? Police National Headquarters in Wellington asking for them for comment. Apparently, they were fairly brusque with my production staff. And they said we want everything in writing, a and I would have to say, Yavi, as well, if 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 this was fake, they just would have said this this email is BS, right? Um, exactly. So yeah. look, I'm I'm I, let them come out. You you know, my sources say it's real. I did everything from a journalistic yeah. point of view that I'm satisfied that it is real. Yeah. If if, if they want to say it's fake, let them say it's fake now. Yeah. And then in a few but yeah, the, I have to say, mate, I have to say, I've read the coverage uh, and the stories that you have put out, and my, you know, um, yep. my colleague, I guess, Cameron Slater, and, and the headline is screaming how Jacinda Ardern sort of conspired to keep Yavi out of New Zealand and New Zealand's a police state. 
Those are very long leaps of logic on the information that we have before us. There is quite a lot of water to go under the bridge on this story before you can stack up those claims, Arvi. I don't... Listen, I think a lot of the, the claims about... I don't know which title you're referring to, but uh, the, 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 the claim that Jacinta Ardern has a hand in it is not a long leap for the fact that I think that anything that happens under her... Yeah, she, she, I don't know how many uh, staff she has, if she's anything like... Albert Harvey, Sanders have you got any proof, mate? What I'm asking for is journalistic proof. Uh, I what? understand you that probably what? don't like Jacinda Ardern. A hell of a lot of people listening to this what? don't like what? Jacinda Ardern. What? What? But that what? doesn't mean you can make SHIT up about her. I don't understand which, what you're talking about that's making up about her. I'm saying her government, I believe, is the one that, that pushed her. And that's fine. I'm not, it, the, the, the proof that I have is what I've presented, which points to... The, uh, uh, points uh, to, uh, a, a indicates, might suggest. No, no, indicates what? Well, indicates that there may have been some form of involvement or targeting of you for political views. I'm not saying that that, that is impossible. It, I'm saying that is almost... Suggested, And the onus, it would seem to me, is now on the police and to a certain extent the government to refute that. But I don't think we can say journalistically that we've got a, or you've got a slam dunk set of, uh, of proof here. You've got a set of circumstances which I think are questionable and raise interesting questions. But to say that Jacinda Ardern conspired to keep you out of this country because she doesn't like your politics or your political views, is A, I I'll be honest, Darby, yeah, yeah, that's I a little bit egotistical, and B, not sustained <laughs> by the by the facts available to us right now. Uh, I, I, listen, I'm the middle child of 17 kids. <laughs> like a, I'll, I'll, I'll wear that. I'll wear that. Listen, uh, I, I think what you're misunderstanding, when we make those points, and, I, and, and, and you're talking about, I don't know exactly which headlines or whatever, or maybe tweets, <laughs> when we say that we're talking about, when you talk about a government... A, 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 a leader of a government um, that ha that is a part of whatever, you're holding them accountable for the actions of what's happening in their state. That's what that means. So whether Jacinta Ardern directly sat there and goes, Avi Yamini, the middle child of 17 kids, I don't want him here because I don't like his politics. I agree with you, though. I don't think that's, that's reality. Does she know more than she let on yesterday at the press conference to you? Absolutely. Well, like, how do you know that? that? No. How do you know that, Arvi? No, Arby? I don't. I, you don't I, know. I don't, but I can, I, I'm telling you, I can see... A, a, I know, you know that what? you I'm, want that uh, to be true. I don't... It's not only that I want it to be true. You can tell a liar when you look at him often. No, you can't. I often can, the best lies I, you can never pick up. I'm, I'm telling tell you, I, I was there, Arvi. We were look, I was looking... I was literally looking deep into the Prime Minister's eyes and she was looking into mine <laughs> when I asked the question and I saw someone... So you think she doesn't know anything? I, I think she knows about you. I think she knew damn well who you were. I think the Interpol memo was, an, it was absolute news to her. If it was an Interpol... If it was the purported Interpol memo, and we have not confirmed its veracity even now, right? Okay, and I think again, she was uh, pissed and, off. Uh, uh, I think she was pissed off because I don't think she particularly likes me. But I'm not going to make a you, massive conspiracy out like? of that, you know? And, and that's fine. And, and, and this is very easy to clear up. It's very yeah, easy it to Yeah, it is. And when, I agree with you on that. When Jacinta Ardern stands there and, and just brushes it off the way she did and is a way away from answering She the didn't brush it off. Say, she listened to the question did, quite intently. She concentrated. And then she said, and she went, I know and, a guy and, and was refused her, entry and yeah. I don't know anything else and I cannot verify that email. I'm pretty sure they'll no, be, no, no, they'll no, be no, into no, it no, now, no. though. You, you, you said to her, you said, oh, I'm interested. I, you know what? I, I, all I want to come out of this is the truth and the whole truth. I'm yeah. happy with that, even if I'm wrong. Let me, te let me make yeah, that yeah, completely yeah. clear. But what I'm saying to you is that I saw, I watched, you asked her and then, and then you correct her, corrected her about the conviction, which I c completely believe yeah. absolutely that she knew is rubbish. So she knew that and then she went back to that after you brought up the memo. Yeah, so that's right. In my, yeah. humble, in my humble opinion, yes, I'm, I can tell you now 
maybe she didn't have a hand in it. Did her government? Yeah. I absolutely believe somebody in, told the police, somebody was encouraging the police from a, a, a governmental position, which I hold her accountable for. If you can create, yeah, if you create okay. an environment as a leader, if you create an environment as a leader where your people feel comfortable to ban the opposition from entering the country, I hold you responsible. Now, yeah, yeah. I'm happy to be proven wrong. The boy, you, uh, I'm happy for you to keep going to every press conference. And, and now that now that she knows about the Interpol, go back and ask yeah, her. Yeah, no, okay, look, we, we, intend, we intend to pursue that. And, Avi, I have to say to me, um, look, any, even if the Interpol uh, memo is bogus or a fake, I still think something weird happened here. And I don't want to live in a country, and I said earlier on the program, this is about a principle. I don't want to live in a country where an individual, even one I might not agree with, is discriminated against by my government because some woke newspaper reporter decides to say something nasty about them. And it is cancel culture. This is a story about cancel culture and how people who are deemed by some elites in power to not be politically correct can be cancelled and have ca can have their lives messed with without due process and without proper recourse. That's really, to me, what is at the kernel of this, isn't it? Absolutely. And, and, and you've got to remember what, what kind of, um, you know, it, it doesn't just stop there for me. If, if I just accept this and I walk away, then the next country I go to, they go, oh, you've been banned from New Zealand on character grounds. We're not going to let you in, even though there's no basis to it. So I have to yeah. fight it, and I have to get to the bottom of it. Did you... Uh, hang on, I, I need to... to yeah, I need to clear this up. Did you ever call yourself the world's only Nazi Jew or it's, the world's greatest Nazi Jew? Yeah, so, so, so it's so funny. You know, they threw a lot of dirt and hoping something will stick, and obviously something uh, they believe stuck, or uh, stuck enough to, to be able to stop me to go to that protest. But, yeah, the world Jewish, proudest Jewish Nazi was a reference when I was standing, and if you watch the full video, yeah. unedited, um, it was me standing in front of a crowd making a speech. I had a kippah on my head, so the little yamuka on my head, and there was Antifa on the other side. And I told the crowd, forget about what they call you. Look at me. And I pointed to my kippah, sarcastically saying, Look, I am the world's proudest Jewish Nazi because they call me a Nazi. Nazi, right. So okay, so it was laced out, with irony. Out of context. Okay, and look, this happens to be all the time. No one gets my sense of humour yeah. uh, either, Arvi. Yeah. Arvi, I want to ask you some other oh. char character questions because your character has no, been please. impugned by the New Zealand government and I want to give you a right of, of, of reply. Are you anti-Islamist? Are you anti any religion? I'm not anti any religion. I'm saying it's, it's complete garbage. I, I, I don't think that you shouldn't be allowed to question ideology and ideas. And also, listen, you've also got to remember, like, I'm, I'm a different army than I was, and I think we all are, um, four or five years ago to what I am today. Okay. Are you sorry uh, okay, for I, I, hitting... I, are you sorry, inadvertently or otherwise, for hitting your ex-wife on the head with a, um, you know, with, with a chopping board, and you're sorry for telling her she's a POS and a CUNT on, 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 in a tweet? It wasn't a tweet. It was a text message oh, text over message. a 10 sorry. year marriage. Okay. Yeah. Are you sorry um, for that? I, I'm, I'm, I am sorry for my. Look, I, uh, the, the entire truth of all those stories are not out, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to. Wasn't my question whether things. the truth was out. Are you sorry? I am so. I'm certain. I'm, I'm sorry for anything that I did that was um, in our relationship, my, my part, and anything that I did that was, yeah, those text messages, I certainly own those, and, and, and I am sorry. You know what, I was, I, was, I was childish. I didn't even know you can get charged for sending messages to your yeah. angry messages during a fight to your wife. I didn't know that that was a thing. And, to, and you know, interestingly enough, on that point, that was considered a, a far worse crime than, than, than that. Well, I'm going to say know, good on you for it. owning it, Arvi, and I'm just asking you the questions that you know you're going to get, you know, you're going to get kicked around and, and always give someone the right of the Listen, one thing you've got to know about me is I've got no problem to own my flaws. I think yep. that when, when and, and if I sound like I'm being a bit evasive on this woman, people want me to own certain things around my personal life. The reason yep. why I'm not going to stand here and just own exactly what you're saying is because you don't actually know what happened and no one does. And it's in the context of something completely different. And I know which actions I did. And I'm certainly not a perfect person. 
Never have I claimed yeah. to be a perfect person. I've never actually had a, But I a tell birth. you what, Avi, if we applied the same criteria that we did to you for not letting people into New Zealand, we'd have a far, oh, no smaller, we'd have a far smaller tourism industry. That's no one can it. enter. No, no one can enter. And, 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 and actually, I think that, that that's a good point because I was looking at, I was thinking, all right, I can't wait till the next person that is publicly has a, 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 a real criminal record enters New Zealand and, and say, oh, hold on a second, how did... How did uh, he? How did he get in this time? You know, uh, and I've seen a lot of people make those comments before about uh, different public figures that have, uh, you know, come there under with you know, convicted as of rape and uh, mm. far more actual violent crimes that that, that 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 New Zealand seem to have no problem with. But they, I guess they don't have, a, and that, and that's why it comes back to why I believe it's all about my politics yeah. because it's uh, it's it, that is the only. Point and I have to say, in the current cultural context, that is not an entirely crazy thing uh, to think or, or, or an unreasonable suspicion to have. Look, when, we're, when the staff at check, yeah, yeah, when the staff at check-in tell you, I've never seen in this before. In my well, entire yeah. career, and 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 it happened twice in one day. It happened to me, and by the way, it happened to Rukshan yeah. later and on. And he got I through. It was a bit too much. Yeah, he got he got through because they couldn't, find, and and that's not from for a lack of trying. He, he said that it was only the Qantas staff that actually fought immigration on his behalf, um, and and then he finally got through. But he spent forty minutes where they were saying, "No, you can't come on either." All right, where are you at legally on this? Where's your legal team? What's next? So right regard? now, um, yeah, we finally. It took us a while to get the responses from immigration. Now um, I'm waiting any day. Now we've we've uh, we've got a New Zealand. So we have a legal team here, and um, a New Zealand barrister who's just going through um, everything and giving us the advice on what our options. So are. So you are considering legal here. action against the New Zealand government over the refusal. I'm You're... not considering it. I'm uh, if, if well, if you are because you haven't done it yet. We have. No, no, I mean, if the, uh, if the advice is that it, it, there is so you're considering uh, it, yeah. any form, we, we, we're going to do it. Okay. Yeah, okay, but you haven't done it yet because you're getting the advice. It. Yeah. No, 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 it, it takes time. So we, we're okay. just waiting right now. Uh, the barristers, so... Yeah. The Arby, I'll tell you what I think would be interesting. You should have another crack at coming over here and go through uh, pulling out the character waiver. I think that would be a really interesting test of what's going on. Oh, no, but this is, this is what people are saying. Oh, you just didn't fill in the paperwork. There is no paper. There's nothing I can fill out at the border. In fact... Yeah, you, you know can. When you think you're going to have a problem, you can fill an application for a character waiver. No, I... Yeah, yeah, no, you have to... But that, that, the character waiver only is attached to a, to a, to a visa. So you have to apply yeah. for a visa. Yeah. Okay, so I can do that. Uh, and that's one of the options that we're, we've got on the table. We just want to make sure that the, that the barrister says that that won't affect so negatively impact any legal... Okay, thing and I want to clarify, yeah, you stand by the veracity of the Interpol memo? You absolutely. say that is absolutely Until true? So. Okay, well, that can be I, relatively I, I, easily I cleared I, up. I, I, I rely on my sources, plus um, and plus from my experience as doing whatever, you, if you don't want to call it journalistic work, <laughs> from my experience, when people behave in response to this, in that, in the way that they have the, yeah. the both uh, both agencies, I say that 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 is confirmation for me. And these are organisations. So you know, AFP Australia have commented, um, you know, uh, on several stories to me. So it's not like they're ignoring me. This is a specific thing that they took a yeah. very um, uh, that that. Yeah, I'll be honest. I don't know if and, mainstream media here, RV, uh, are going to give this much coverage. Um, <laughs> I, 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 I know, and, and you know what I find funny about that, and I appreciate that you ask the questions, and I hope you keep asking the questions, but, um, you know, the mainstream media in New Zealand, they didn't, when I got banned on that, on Monday, I think it was, when, when I was hit, they didn't say anything. They waited 24 hours till immigration gave them statements um, that, that really suit their headline, are the mini ban for yeah. domestic abuse, you know, and they ran with that, and since then, they haven't said a word that, you know, now that there's a development um, that doesn't kind of suit their thing, they haven't said anything. So I hope for, I hope uh, for their journalistic sake that they're just waiting to verify themselves so um, they can, that, you know, that they can feel confident. But you would, you would think that even at this point they could say 
um, you know, that the, the, these leaked e Interpol emails, which we can't verify, um, uh, seem to say... Yeah, well, as I say, the, government, up, the admitted, government and the police could clear that up very, very quickly for us. Uh, they really could. Yeah, uh, yeah, agreed. Uh, but my point here is that the mainstream media, they, they in New Zealand, seems particularly bad where they where they they literally only ran the story when it suited their narrative and now that it doesn't now that it's not going it's not going their way from the perspective of what i said in the beginning my claims seem to be the most uh, truest version of events they're yeah. suddenly not running it again i hear you and Avi, i have to say i appreciate uh you fronting for so long, answering every question I put to you, um, and we'll keep in touch. Anytime, mate. I, anytime, mate. We don't we don't have to agree on everything, and and that was one of the things that when we first spoke, and it struck me is, uh, you know, I find that genuine when people say, you know what, I'm happy. I, I like I said before, I have sixteen brothers and sisters, and we <laughs> are all com completely different politically, socially. You know, I'm still a wild one in the family, but there's other wild ones on the other spe side of the spectrum. And we all actually sit there and have arguments about politics, you know, and they get quite fiery, but we love each other at the end of the day. You know, we talk about climate change at a dinner time. Yeah. And it's, uh, it, it, I feel like global warming happens at the table. Mm. But um, the, 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 the point is to be able to have discourse, you can't shut down your opponents. Yeah. And you, can't, you can't celebrate banning your opponents. I just find that incredible to see how many uh, so-called tolerant people in New Zealand right now are celebrating my my banning and justifying it, pretending, pretending like they care about um, that conviction that they know in their guts is, is complete garbage. So if All you're right. happy to celebrate it with me today, then expect it to happen to either you tomorrow yeah, or somebody and that, that you, you know, actually I, I support. Think you've I think you've hit the nail on the head, uh, Avi. We've got to stick by principle in there, but for the grace of whatever you got is uh, goes us. I thank you for your time, uh, and we will talk Thanks, again mate. soon. That is uh, Avi Yemeni, um, rebel news reporter from Australia, social media sensation, and a guy I think there are still, having talked to Avi, uh, I think there are questions to be answered here. I don't think there is any doubt about that.